The eighth clause of the ISO 27002 standard is called Operation Security. It has seven categories and 14 controls, and the first category is called Operational Procedures and Responsibilities. The purpose of this category is to ensure that information processing and related facilities are operated safely. This category has four controls and the first one is called Documented Operating Procedures. This control states that organizations should maintain what is normally referred to as standard operating procedures, which are documents that explain how activities are performed step by step. Operating procedures should be developed, stored, maintained, secured, and made available for employees who might need them to perform a task, such as backup and recovery procedures, equipment and asset maintenance, information sharing, server shutdown procedures, or any other activity that is useful to be documented. More specific activities could be documented as well, such as backup scheduling requirements, how to handle specific errors, or monitoring and reporting procedures. Those documents build into the knowledge base that an organization maintains, which makes doing activities in the future easier, as there is a reference on how to do them. The creation, change, and discard of operating procedures documents has to be authorized by management, depending on the scope of the document. The maintenance of those documents and keeping them up to date is essential, and very useful when old employees leave and new employees join the organization.